All right, you beautiful people. So if you have a problem with your Mac, say you can't get it to turn on, you might put it in recovery mode to figure it out. So let's go. Hold Command and R, power on your device, and continue to hold Command and R until you see the loading screen and the icon, like so. Select your language preference. Yo hablo inglés. Select Disk Utility. Make sure your external backup drive is plugged in. Mine's the Lexar USB 3. It's a good idea to run first aid to make sure that the disk is doing well before erasing it and getting it ready for backup if you haven't already done so. Now press erase and make sure to name it something you'll be able to identify as the backup disk. And keep it on Mac OS Extended Journaled as that is most compatible with Mac. Erase it and let it do its thing. Once it's done, it'll be ready for backing up your files and data. And now go to File, New, Image from Folder. Go here to your hard drive, not the recovery hard drive. You're going to the hard drive of the physical device that you're trying to recover data from. And then you find the data wherever it is. It's probably going to be in users. But, but realize that like game data and other applications have data in other areas. If you have special applications, these things will be in other parts. So you might want to just copy the whole thing and you can do that. I'm not going to do that. I don't know where your data is. You know where your data is. Um, so I'm going into users, my, my user account here. This is where my data was. But what I did is I went here, into desktop. And then I just chose that. And then, right, so we, we have to make sure that where it's getting backed up to, it's very important, right? You don't wanna, it's gonna put, it's gonna probably, if it doesn't partition it, it's gonna just erase the whole disk, which we already did, so that's fine. This is a blank uh, external drive. I'm calling it backup underscore Lexar USB. Image format is read write. And obviously we don't want it to just be read only and compressed. We could have some lossy, we could lose some data. So we don't want that. I'll just keep it as desktop because that's literally what it is. Go ahead and save it. And then it's gonna do its thing. It has its loading bar. I like to have this open just to see what's going on. And it'll take however long it takes. Now this took a very short amount of time because there was really not much data on there and that's fine. You're done at this point. You wanna eject it, your external device. And then just go ahead and, and power down. So now you can plug it into whatever device you want to extract the data into. Maybe you're going to transfer it from one computer to another. There's a DMG file. You'll just open that up and then there you go. So obviously mine was called desktop and only has desktop contents. And as you can see, it's the same computer. Like I, I'm demonstrating this on the computer I got the data from. But I also tested it on my laptop same result so it works and then I could transfer the data to my laptop and then to another external source it really depends on how you want to go about it oh my god no okay I'm, I'm tripping I'm gonna cut that out